Hello and welcome to my awesome health journey. I'm Brad Dupree and uh, yeah. Today I'd like to talk about the idea of always questioning your thoughts. I think it's important. One thing I think is important is always question beliefs. Always question thoughts. Uh, because a lot of times we get stuck in our ways. We get stuck in believing certain things. And if we don't question them every once in a while, we can get stuck in a rut. For instance, I am questioning my beliefs on the masculine and feminine a lot lately. I, When I first got into my personal health journey when I was 26, 27, when I got to 27, I really got into the works of this guy called David Data and um, went through this group called Warrior Sage. And it was a lot about uh, men are this way and women are this way and how to deal with how to sit in my masculine and how to embrace the feminine and the like. And the more I've been thinking about that lately, the more I've been thinking that the masculine and feminine ideal is more of a westernized colonial ideal of what is a man and what is a woman that needs to be working in capitalism, right? Because like almost everything that's masculine is how to succeed in a capitalistic state and everything's feminine is what's needed to support a masculine in a, uh, in a state. And a lot of this, there's this uh, post where uh, the, the leaders, Sati and Raja, uh, posted on his on his uh, Facebook, something along the lines of this guy thought like a, a woman in, a, in her masculine is a woman who suffered trauma. And that is just a huge, just dichotomy that doesn't make sense to me anymore. I mean, when I grew up, yeah, women are from Mars and men are from Venus, but I think that's ridiculous because we're not at that different. I mean, yes, there are differences between men and women, some biological, and there are some mental differences but i don't think they're so far as planets i think it's more along the lines of men are from seattle and women are from tacoma where the differences are just slight right like men might be more compartmentalized in thinking and women might be more um flowy in thinking but at the same time a lot of things that we determine are masculine are born are taught to us since we're young there are like men being like not being able to talk about their feelings because women are emotions. Well, I can tell you as a man, I was never really taught to, uh, I was never taught to speak in emotions and to speak my emotions. Something I had to learn as an adult and throughout my life. Most of the time I thought emotions were bad to be honest. And especially when it comes to like dealing with women and women dealing with my emotions because, you know, they see that as feminine and weak sometimes, or at least in my mind they do. And sometimes it feels like that's the way they treat me. And also when I think about like some of the things to make a woman feel like one thing my ex did really well uh, with me is pamper me. Like every once in a while she just give me a massage and a facial and put these awesome things on my feet and, you know, that felt great. It feels great to be pampered. It feels great to just relax and have someone take care of you. And I don't think that's a masculine trait to take care of someone. I think that's just a loving trait that you do with someone you love. Or or if you work at a spa, you don't. I guess you don't have to love them to pamper them and that's your job. But it's like, yeah. And, but just questioning that because like a lot of things... I mean, I'm just putting that out there. It's just something I'm questioning is like, what does that help me believe? How does that serve me? In fact, I ask myself a lot of times when it comes with thoughts, how does this thought serve me? How does this belief serve me? How does this belief make me a better person or a worse person? And really question ideals that I have. And I think it's always important to always question, to always Make sure that is what you want to believe and to always get to try to get to the root of why I believe them, what came out of them. Like a lot of th things like masculine and feminine that came from a desperation of like, I don't understand women and I want to, to go on dates and have sex and I'm not, I'm not doing that very well, even though honestly I was doing better than the average man, even with my social anxiety. 
Uh, I mean, not like I was, I'm not saying I was like dating all the time, but I did every once in a while, right? Anyway, I wasn't doing as bad as I thought, but at the same time, I was afraid all the time. But I guess what I'm saying is like, it's just really important to me to always question what I believe and to always not try to, especially when I'm in a situation when I'm triggered to ask myself why I reacted in that way and if that's the way I want to react. Sometimes it is, like, racism. Yeah, fuck that shit, right? I, I don't want to deal with that. I mean, there's certain may, maybe ways I could handle things better, but there's some things that I'm fine that make me angry, and there's some things I'm fine that I believe. I'm not saying throw away all my beliefs, but I'm always saying question. Uh, get down to the root of why I believe them, what, why I was taught that. Uh, does that serve what does that serve? I think it's really important to always question beliefs because you don't want to just get stuck. Or I don't want to get stuck, I guess I should say. I don't get stuck as a robot, just someone who just believes what he believes and just goes through life on autopilot. Always question. Always make sure. And yeah, that's that's today's video. Always question my beliefs. I work on that. So, yeah, uh, like and subscribe and all that jazz.